Anyway, my darling, for today's chat, I wanted to share with you an insight to share with me from one of my beautiful guests, um, Valerie McKen. We'll be talking to Valerie McKen soon about her five boys and heavy bleeding and how she got her groove back to have more energy and to feel more alive again. Uh, but I also wanted to share with you a really great piece of information she shared, a bit of an insight that she shared with me that really lightened up my world. Do you want to know what that is? Make sure you stay listening. Hello, my lovelies. Thank you for sticking with me. So my Valerie shared a really interesting saying. We were talking about, you know, the whips we've been through in life. Slap down, bang down. (laughs) Recently, I had three in a row. (laughs) Like within a week and a half, it was like bang on my knees. Just I got back up again, you know, like, okay, okay. It was like bang again. (laughs) I was like, okay. (laughs) All right, all right, all right. <laughs> and then it's like, again, I just thought, come on, universe, you're having a bit of a giggle with me. You're having a bit of a chuckle. And she said the most beautiful thing, you know, she goes, Ingrid, you know, sometimes we have to be whipped into our purpose. <laughs> it's like, I hear you, Don, I hear you. Because I still feel there's one other thing I should have been doing out there in the world that I hadn't been doing. No, I was kind of like touch and go with it, kind of like messing with it. But I think the universe wants me to go whole, whole and give it more energy. So I think, which is wonderful. Another thing that really came out of my recent like bing, bang, biff, kick downs <laughs> was really even mastering even more the um, art of stillness, you know, being still. So not reacting to those thoughts that are going through our mind, not reacting to the predator in our mind or the thoughts and the predators out there in the world, but being still you know am I like one of the zen masters yet I don't think so (laughs) but you know I've really got this thing like really down to pack you know what I mean like well and I'm scared to say it now because I'll be tested again (laughs) just say can you stay still can you remain still because stillness really is the heart of everything to remain cool do you know what I mean not react be still while all that nonsense is going on out there and of course, they can log onto my website for some luscious gifts, luscious ways to help you to remain still, my darling, to calm your mind down, to walk around those issues, walk around those problems and not always react. And because as well, when you're reacting the whole time, you're just giving away energy, right? Giving away all this energy, which we need to conserve. Do you know what I mean? We need to conserve that energy, keep that battery full and alive of the energy that you are seeping and giving away. All right, my lovely. So yes. It's another way of looking at those um, those kickdowns. <laughs> I know those biff back. <laughs> as long as we learn from them, we're stopping, we're reflecting, reflecting on them, think what is the lesson here? What can I learn from this? After going through the turmoil, and trust me, I am no, I am not pretty. <laughs> I go through my turmoil, I cry. Do you know what I mean? I throw myself down there. But it was just like bringing that in, bringing that in, being cool, still in my mind, my darlings, still in my mind. Okay. And waiting because yes ultimately we're being whipped in my darling whipped into our purpose isn't that beautiful anyway don't forget for lots more soulful tips for videos and luscious gifts my darling to help you get your groove back don't forget to log on to my website ingridmarsh.com don't forget also most importantly subscribe 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 <laughs> and like okay well let me speak to you soon chat